That's cute. Oh, you didn't get my TikTok reference? Oh, wow. You are now listening to Rebel Femme Podcast, an honest conversation about hair, life, and everything super random. <laughs> All right, well, welcome to <laughs> season three of our podcast. I forgot we were recording already. <laughs> my name's Morella. We'll kind of do like a little reintroduction, I think, because it's been a minute, yeah. right? So my name's Morella, and I'm the co-host of Rebel Femme Podcast. I'm also the <laughs> owner of Rebel Femme Salon, and yeah, content creator for Morella Minnelli. I'm trying to think of what else. Mom of four kids, I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> I'm Yadira, just the co-host of Rebel Femme just, Podcast. Just the co-host. I'm and Marilla's hair slave. Yeah. <laughs> that is not true. Not true at all. <laughs> not? Nope. Okay. So today we brought on um, guest Danielle, and I'll let her introduce herself. Hi, I'm Danielle. They found me on the street, and <laughs> they just thought it'd be fun to like bring someone random on. Just to keep oh it interesting. Gosh. No, that's not true either. <laughs> So, Danielle's our newest stylist as of the summertime. August. August, yeah. Yeah. And... Holy cow. I know. Yeah. Because you're going to have an anniversary this summer. I know. Aw. And then you'll be only 20 still. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So, we acquired her at 19 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm still... That's so wrong. I'm turning... I know. (laughs) I'm turning 20 in less than a month. Yay! Wow! Wow! Getting big. <laughs> so to, on today's podcast episode, to launch it off, we're going to be going over, I'll let <laughs> tell you the rest. <laughs> we will be doing a recap of what's been going on since the beginning of the year. So since we last did our last podcast. Yeah, and we have yeah. lots of exciting yeah. new things happening. Today we're really excited because um, we are going to start recording these podcast episodes on um, video. <laughs> On a camera. On camera. (laughs) So they'll be on YouTube, so if you want to see our beautiful faces, (laughs) you can um, check out the YouTube as well. Um, But we are going to be going over all of the exciting new things that is to come, as well as what actually has taken us so long to do season three. Yeah. Um, Because we did take, like, three months off, practically, to get back to doing this. Yeah, and hone in on what we're trying to do. So we're just really excited. So thanks for, for listening to us. Um, and Danielle's going to have some exciting news too. So, um, Stay tuned. that's exactly why she's on the show. Yeah. <laughs> so to kick it off, um, we were so busy getting a bunch of like cool things done and, um, yeah. So, um, we've been open. We celebrated our two year anniversary, um, in early January. I want to say it was January 4th is, was our technically our anniversary of when we opened. So January 4th of 2018. <laughs> and, oh my um, gosh, I wasn't even legal then. Oh my God. <laughs> Get out of here. You. <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> so, it's been two years and I decided that we needed a little facelift. There's lots of changes like we've added, you know, the six stations in the center of the salon and decided, you know, we needed like a whole new logo and a whole new everything. Everything. So with that, yeah, I actually can show you on my mug. So I don't know if you can see it, but we have, pardon the lipstick, but <laughs> you know, the new Rebel Femme so logo. Um, and really because we've had the salon, the podcast, and we'll also be launching some merch as well. So, um, we have Rebel Femme Salon, Podcast, and Shop. So, really, really exciting. Yes. And with that, we decided to do a lot of redecorating in the salon as well. And part of that was the selfie wall. So, I'll let you kind of talk about the selfie wall. So, we made the selfie wall kind of look like our glittery bathroom. Just put a whole bunch of Mod Podge and pink glitter and I got to torture Tina. That was great. <laughs> but the the glitter isn't necessarily pink. It's like this iridescent. It's, well, there is pink glitter and there's iridescent glitter as well. Because I feel like it still looks more mostly iridescent. Yeah. It matches the little iridescent lamp that we have above the selfie wall. 
Our chandelier. Our chandelier. Yeah. <laughs> not <piano. laughs> It's actually not even a chandelier. It's um. It's, it's like paper mache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. It's cellophane. It's <laughs> Via Martha Stewart, but it's yeah, it's super cute. Everyone thinks it's like real. Yeah. Until they're like, oh, it's paper <laughs> or cellophane. <laughs> they think it's like super fancy, and then they like really look at it. And they're like, oh. <laughs> But the selfie wall is pretty cool because we'll be utilizing it a lot more. I know um, Danielle's already yawning over here. She's Sorry. bored with our conversation. But <laughs> <laughs> Danielle's Coffee used it a few time. times to take pictures of, you know, some products. So you probably yeah. have seen the selfie wall on our feed. Um, as well as clients have been taking selfies on it. So we want to encourage you to utilize it a lot more. It's really cute. And, like, we have a little ring light. No! Oh my gosh. We have, like, a little ring light. <laughs> And so you get, like, really bomb lighting. So if you just, like, need to update your Instagram feed, just come in. Like, you don't even need to, like, book a service. Just come in. Just come in randomly pictures. and take some pictures. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> don't say anything to any of us. Yeah, just show up. Turn on, turn on the light, take some pictures, and then bye. Well, I really feel like our whole salon has turned into this perfect place for selfies everywhere. So regardless of where you're at in the salon, like, our pink wall by the dryers is really popular um now we have the selfie wall and we'll, we'll also be redecorating another room which we'll talk about a little bit later um yes. and we've kind of started to revamp the media room too so that's been lots of changes really but you know if you want to come in and like you said take a picture yeah. lay on the couch take a little nap <laughs> then take a selfie while you're taking a nap <laughs> okay all right um another thing that we're going to be launching this um, quarter is our new Meet the Team video. Yes. So really cool and exciting because we've had um, some new team members like Danielle and Maria that have joined our team, um, Megan, anybody else? No, that's it. That's it. So, um, and then with that being said, um, we'll be launching the new Meet the Team, but we are also losing a stylist this Actually, this week is her last week. We're really sad. Tears. I'm making a really bomb ice cream cake, though. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, my mm. favorite thing about my birthday is that my mom makes, like, this really amazing ice cream cake, like, from hand. And it has, like, Oreo cookie. From hand. <laughs> yeah. No, like, Oreo cookie crust on the bottom. And then she puts ice cream. And then she puts, like, more, like, Oreo cookies and, like, candy mm. and stuff. And, like, chocolate and caramel. And then, like, another layer of ice cream. And then, like, oh. <laughs> So I'm gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't know this yet. Yeah. But yeah, we're losing. So we didn't even say who we're losing. We're losing Caitlin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Caitlin's been with us since we opened the salon. So um, two years now. Yeah. And she is moving to Texas. So um, we're really sad, but um, she's kind of started to transition a lot of her clients over to a lot of us. Yeah. And um, we're happy to take care of you guys, but. Um, We'll definitely be sending Caitlin off um, in a nice little... Hopefully she shows up on Saturday. <laughs> oh my gosh. If she doesn't, so free sad. ice cream cake I'm for gonna all of us. I'm going to kick her ass if she doesn't show up. Me <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, Caitlin's leaving and then... Oh yeah, so what is this here? So we can actually talk about what we're doing with that little room. Yeah! So that's part of like some of our rebranding. So we have this little tiny room on the side. It used to be our nail room. It's no longer nails in there. And it's been empty for um, maybe a couple weeks or so, a month. Like a month, yeah. And we've been kind of toying around with what we're going to do with it. And I've always wanted it to be a makeup room. But um, I'll go ahead and let you tell them what okay. we're going to do with the room. Because <laughs> that's the whole reason why you're on this show. Yeah. So, I do lashes. I talked a little bit about it last time I was on the podcast, I think. Um, so, I do lash extensions. So, we are going to turn it into a lash studio. Yay! <laughs> We're really excited because Danielle does amazing work. And yeah, she does. I'm just so, so excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be, um, we're in the process right now of um, just revamping it. We've got a, you know, a nice comfy, um, what is it called? Facial table or whatever. A thing. A thing. Yeah. A little thing. <laughs> um, and then we're just going to make it nice and cozy in there because most of the time people fall asleep. Right? Yeah, a lot of clients fall asleep, which I, I do every single time. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. 
I think you can't help but fall asleep though with yeah. your eyes closed. <laughs> it's yeah. like what else are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Get out of bed, eyes are closed. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I wake up with beautiful lashes. It's like the best nap ever. <laughs> like, I wish Perfect for you moms out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of my sorry, a lot of my clients yeah. that are like teachers and like moms, like the, that's like their only time that they have in the day to like relax and like mm -hmm. make up extra sleep. So they're just like Oh, sleeping and then, then they wake up and they're like oh my gosh yeah I'm really excited though because Danielle um, in addition to her doing the lashes she also does hair here as well so she'll be here full time now and Yay. we're just really excited to you know yeah move I'm her so in that excited. direction that'd be so fun yay <laughs> it's just gonna be fun making that room over yeah we have that's lots of your favorite pictures. part yeah that's always my favorite part yeah <laughs> Yeah, so if you if you um, haven't listened to any of the podcasts or noticed on our feed, um, Yadira is, like, the one, you know, decorating, and she's our in-house salon interior decorator. Des I don't know what to call you. <laughs> Which has also made me realize how much Designer. of a hoarder I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, let's talk about your hoarding yeah. stuff, because let's... Oh, my God. So, we put up this brand new... Um, it's like this magnetic chalkboard. <laughs> All the flowers. <laughs> and I was like staring at it. I was like, mm, I don't like the frame. I don't, it's something about it. I just don't like it needs something here. And she's like staring at it for like 10 minutes. And she's like, yeah, it does need something. And then out of nowhere, she's like, oh, I know exactly what, um, or I know exactly what can go there. And she just comes out of the room in this hidden cabinet. Stop. I had no idea that she had it there. Stop. It was like this flower wreath thingy. It was to a go garland. Go. Garland. <laughs> And it, like, fit perfectly over it. We didn't need to change the frame color or anything. And I'm just like, dude, you have a really bad... And I was like, well, I go, why did you buy that? And she... It, wait, you tell the story. Um, I was at Target with George, and I was like, oh, this is really cute. It would look cute in the salon. He was like, well, what, do, what are you going to put it on? I'm like, I don't know. I'll, I'll find a place. And, yeah. How long did it take you to find that place? It was in my room at home for at least two months. And then it was at the salon for at least another month. See, that's that's a problem. It took you <laughs> three months to be like, oh, well, but we actually know, need she it. She had this gut feeling. She's like, this yeah, like, is gonna go. It's in gonna our go somewhere. Salon. And then she bought it. And look, <laughs> now it's in the salon. And I felt so dumb when you sent me those pictures. I was like, I have that. I know. I have that. I Literally, have this. <laughs> I kept like sending her like inspiration pictures. Like, oh, this would be cute. This would be cute. And she's like, I have everything. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Sound good. <laughs> I like to go to Goodwill and buy bedding and shit and that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so moving on. <laughs> the next thing that we're going to be launching or have already launched in our salon is we're going to be offering Halo extensions. So super exciting. So if you don't know what Halo extensions are, they are literally um, a weft of hair with a little like clear elastic kind of like a headband. What's it called? It's like a fishing wire. Thing. Yeah. So it sits literally right on top. And I like them because you can put them in your hair and then remove them and wash your hair like normal. So it's not it, like a huge commitment. You can literally take it out in five seconds. Yeah. Like I just, I, I could have worn mine today. Uh, Some I, people would have told me that we were recording, but <laughs> you know, next Oops. time. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are for the, like the podcast listeners that don't have video. They don't need to see your hair. So they don't know. Well, I guess you'll just have to come in <laughs> we do to have, the salon yes. and see it in person. We do have a video, though, of what it looks like with them in and you yeah. taking them out. And that video did really, really well on our feed, and people were like, whoa, what is that? So It's fun to watch. Yeah. Um, so in addition to the halos, um, you can purchase those, and you can get them customized to your color and all of that. You can have a stylist help you out, and then we'll ship them here, and you come pick them up, and we'll help you teach you how to put them in and all of that. It's Again, it's really, really easy. That's what makes them so successful, I think. Yeah. Um, and then we're also going to be offering um, weft, and, weft extensions um, as well as tape and extensions. So really exciting. We already have stylists, though. That do that. That offer it. But all of us are going to be offering it. So, well, I don't know about you, dear. You, dear, is looking at me like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the hair is also real. So you can dye it. They don't recommend mm -hmm. you bleaching it, but um, you can, like, deposit the color. You can curl it. You can straighten it. You can perm it, I believe, because it's real. You can perm it? Oh, I don't know if you can perm it. I don't know. If you can I feel it. like if you can't bleach it, you wouldn't want to perm it. 
Yeah. I don't really know, but it is 100% human hair and 100% Remy human hair. And yes, you can color them, yeah. which is exciting. Yeah. So if you have like... So if you have light hair like mine, but it's actually really dark, and you decide that you want to go dark again, which probably won't happen because... I like light hair and if, but if I ever decide I can dye it dark yeah no totally true that's yeah. why I'm excited about those yeah oh my gosh well let's actually talk about the sofa for a little bit because it was such a fiasco <laughs> so the sofa originally was living by a window and it was actually kind of cool over there the people that were working on that side of the salon really liked the sofa there yeah but because we had the selfie wall and I wanted to kind of create more of like this homey waiting reception area I was like, let's move the sofa over to the front, and it just, like, I feel like everybody had opinions about it. It was yes, like... very many opinions. <laughs> did they move anything? No. <laughs> I did. You're allowed to have your opinion. Because <laughs> you helped move everything. <laughs> but yeah, the sofa is, um, I kind of like where the sofa's at. I feel like it I isolates like it everything. And we've had lots of compliments on it, but we've also had some clients that were like, oh, I don't like it here. At the end of the day, um, you'll get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, was not too sure about it in the beginning, but now that it's there, I'm like, okay, it's fine. I like it. <laughs> it's really to free up the selfie wall, and yeah. yeah, I just feel like now it's, like, like a living room space. It yeah. still needs a little bit of stuff, and I think people, like we said, well, um, things will move around, but um, we'll find their forever homes. We got, we had, oh, well, that was another thing. Like, we had this big-ass tree. <laughs> It now lives by um, Yadira Station, so oh, it looks kind of yeah. jungly over there. But then when we moved the tree, that wall by the pink wall was like completely bare, and so we were like, oh, what are we going to put there? And magically, you know, Yadira has this like floating pot that needs a plant in it, because we need more plants in the salon. Hey. <laughs> it's literally like this jungle flamingo just, like, fantasy out of here. Her. She's like, here. <laughs> What do I have a lot of? Home decor Everything. and plants. <laughs> That's why your hair is green. <laughs> Crazy plant lady. I love it. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> you do your road on here. Morella and Cosima had B days. Yes, I'm another year older. Thanks for. She's 25. I am. Yeah. Happy 25th birthday. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was born in 1995. Is that right? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Still in the 1900s. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I had, we both had birthdays. My daughter and um, my birthdays are three days apart. Are they three days apart? Yes. 15, yes. Okay. 16, 17, 18. Yeah, yeah. three days apart. <laughs> <laughs> and my daughter, well, my oldest daughter is two. I have another daughter. So we'll be one this year, which is crazy. No. I know. It's so, so sad. sad. It's sad. It is sad. sad. She's literally the cutest baby ever. I, I, I'm, I'm really, like, loving her personality because she's, like, going to be the quiet, bashful one. Yeah, she But also is. judgy. Yeah. You can yeah. see it in her eyes. Mm -hmm. She likes, she's very observant. Like, she watches everybody. She just, like, stares at you. <laughs> she doesn't make any noise. You have to earn her smile. Mm -hmm. So she's not very trusting. She always smiles with me. Because she, she, she trusts you. Oh. Yeah. You have to earn so it. That's so special. Yeah, if she doesn't like you, she won't give you anything. Anything. Oh my god, mm -mm. she's such a queen. I have so many cute videos on my phone of her. <laughs> she's so cute. That's she's weird. So you cute. have but videos and pictures of my daughter? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like go to your house and just like zoom in like from your window. You're hacking into my nest? Yeah. Or not nest, my ring. Your ring. <laughs> mm -hmm. You Creepy. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next on the list, we are looking for new stylists. So now that Caitlin's leaving, one of us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're looking for new stylists to join our team. Um, preferably rental stylists. So if you or you know someone that is looking for a new forever home. Um, we're looking for maybe, honestly, like I have room for maybe four. Yeah. But yeah. ideally I would like maybe two, max three um, stylists to join our team. Cause I feel like that would be, make it kind of still Wait, comfy in here. You said you're looking for four, but then you're looking for two, max three. 
yeah, I don't know why. You know what I mean? Like, we have the room. We for have four. the room okay. for four, but to be comfy. Okay, yeah. got it. I was like, wait. What? I feel like <laughs> I feel like we could have um, t- for us to be comfy, just because on Saturdays we're pretty full. Yeah, we are. And except you know everyone's working. I I just feel like if we had three full time stylists, that would be great. But mm-hmm. if we had two full time stylists and two part time stylists, that could that could work too. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying. That way we're not, like, all on top of each other on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like we still have plenty of room. Like, there's lots of space between each of the stations. You uh, yeah. literally could do a dance and spin around <laughs> with your client. I just TikTok, mean, like, I've double booking-wise. <laughs> since yeah. I'm the one that always, like, double and tri- triple books yeah. myself. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it just gets busy, and I just, I don't know, for me, it's all about the comfort level for your the client. Yeah. So, it just... That's where we're at. So if you, again, looking for stylist, let us know. Message us, DM us. Yeah. Call. <laughs> I'll probably answer the phone. <laughs> Join our weird little family. Yeah. And you too could be on the podcast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Probably won't let you know that we're filming. And won't, like, <laughs> won't let you know so that you have bitter. to wear makeup, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so before we, so Danielle had no, okay, okay, let's back up yeah, here. Preface. So, um, this is, well, I know we recorded, I think, one of the podcasts already. We just kind of got lazy and start, stopped doing it. But I decided for season three, we really need to start recording these because a lot of people do like watching them. And normally we, we record looking like a hot mess, you know, with our mics. <laughs> She's like, I beg to differ on that one. Like, I look like yourself. a hot mess. <laughs> I usually have clients afterwards. Thanks, Marilla. <laughs> well, I normally look a hot mess. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not really feeling too well today. But yeah, no makeup usually, you know, the, the usual. Maybe some pajamas on. I don't know. I am wearing a dirty shirt right now <laughs> <laughs> that you thought was clean. <laughs> and you have contacts in. I do. <laughs> What's your excuse? I know, I know. <laughs> So, you know, since we're recording it in that fashion, and I forgot to tell Danielle we were going to be doing the camera <laughs> session today, so she came in with no makeup. Yeah. It's and fine. so she's kind of like, yeah, just bitter about it. She's like, oh, do you have the camera? And I was like, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you should have nothing to worry about, cause since you were born in the 2000s. In the, in the new millennia. Is what? that right? <laughs> <laughs> why, why, what does that have to do with anything? Because you're young. You should oh. have nothing to worry about. I'm old. <laughs> like, I have you're to have makeup on. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. Um, last few topics here. Um, right. A couple things that we oh, launched also for the salon. <laughs> what is happening over here? <laughs> I lost the strawberry. Now I just have a big ass hole in my nail. That's <laughs> because uh, you keep it picking looks at like it. The um, what pink pinkity drinkity from Starbucks. And oh like, my gosh! Doesn't it though? Okay, Yadira did her nails and she says they're strawberry halves. I'm not quite sure. I if thought they, they are. were heart. Can you put that closer to the that camera? That doesn't. It is a strawberry. I don't think they can see it. I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's focusing uh, on it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Show them your hands. It, it is because a strawberry half. It it doesn't look like strawberry halves to me. Um, Not on the nails. Oh, it's is it doing it on my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> we'll insert a picture, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. And now this big ass hole. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's what you get for picking your nails. I wasn't picking. Yes, you were. I was, I was rubbing. I was just super glue you. it back on. You were you were rubbing your strawberry. <laughs> that sounds worse. <laughs> okay, back to this. Last two topics that we wanted to go over with you guys. Um, we opened up a Patreon account, which we kind of talked about in the last the end of the last season, um, and we also opened up a TikTok account. So um, let's talk about TikTok really fast. Um, TikTok's been really fun. But we really haven't been focusing on it, but we are definitely going to be making more videos on there and just kind of showing you the more weirdness that goes on here. <laughs> Marilla is a TikTok queen. No, I'm... She's addicted. No, yeah. I am addicted. I, I... But you know what? It's because when you do a video and you get, like, a bunch of likes and stuff... And it's, don't act like you don't... You don't I like it! I was about to say, it's fun to see it grow. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> but yes... It, no, it is, because, like, one of my videos has almost a million, um, and a couple of my other videos did really, really well, and now I'm, like, TikTok famous. I have 3,000 followers. Oh, my God. Do so you know who I am? Yeah. 
<laughs> not TikTok famous, but do you know what I mean? It's just exciting to see the growth on there. Um, and it's just like a fun social media avenue to utilize. Yeah, you'll see us on there more. I showed my sister the video of you dancing to Renegade, and she was like, oh my gosh, what a queen. Oh my god. <laughs> Jaden showed it so to his funny. friends at high school, and they were like, that's your mom? <laughs> no. And I was like, is that, like, a good, is that your mom? Or a bad, is that your mom? Like, a judgy, is that your mom? Yeah. No, it's like, Fergie will, like, cast you for her next MILF money video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be, I'll be, um, what's that one, um, lady on American Pie? You probably didn't even watch that movie. No, I didn't. Um, what's, what? I know. What's I already knew. Oh, <laughs> Stifler's mom. Yeah, Stifler's mom. <laughs> I'll be the, the next Stifler's mom for the next uh, American Milf. Pie remake. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That so what? Uh, I don't know if you're if you're watching this video. I just want you to know all of this time that Yudira's been picking at her nails. Okay, I'm trying to put it back in. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Go like this. Okay, so aside from the TikTok videos, um, definitely follow oh. us on there if you want to see the silliness. <laughs> and we'll have some educational things as well, like you see on our Instagram and stuff, but TikTok's just like fun. Also, our Patreon. We opened up a Patreon account, and basically, if you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a way to support the podcast show. So um, all of the money that um, is donated to that is going to go to this media room. Um, and what? Why are you looking like that? Because I had a random thought and I spaced out. Um, oh my god. <laughs> we should do a video like those. It sounds awful when I say it out loud. Like those for a dollar a day, you can save a children, a child in need for two dollars a month. You can get rid of our fucking bag of soil. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this yeah, is true. Wait, for two dollars a month. Soil? If, <laughs> for your dearest plant problem. <laughs> <laughs> but aren't they like mostly fake plants? <laughs> no. <laughs> like no, they more are more than half of our plants in there are fake. No, the plants are so healthy that they look fake. No. <laughs> it's recording. Now it is. Interesting. Yeah, um, I don't Man. think that's correct. Like, sometimes I go and, like, try and water the plants, but you told me not to, but I kind of try to do it anyway. So you and watered I, our flake, fake plants? No, I like, I, like, go to and I'm like, oh, that's not real. But they're, like, most of them are not real, so why do you have so much soil? Because we have trees. Yeah, we have trees. We have uh, two fiddle trees and then that big-ass Amazon-y looking uh palm tree thing by your station yeah that makes me look like i'm oh. in a jungle and then we have those I other never wear leopard those other little plants <laughs> the ones that are always like kind of dying and then yudira's mom comes in and feeds them um vitamins and talks to them and then they come to life oh that's so cute yeah she probably is like oh, that's where i get it from mi preciosa she's like petting them <laughs> <turning their leaves. laughs> that's so cute. i don't know if that's even how, how do you say plant in spanish Planta? Oh. <laughs> what did you say? Plant. <laughs> oh my god. That's me plant. That's something my grandma would say. Oh my gosh. Good job, Rilla. Well, the other day, um, <laughs> or you, dear, was at uh, Burlington for Coat Factory, and every yes, time did. I hear Burlington Coat Factory, I think of Burlington. Now, Burlington. <laughs> because that's what my mom says. It. <laughs> I love you, mom. She actually listens to these. <laughs> and now she's gonna watch it. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it just funny. cracks me up because when you tell me, like, things that your mom says, it just literally reminds me of, like, my mom and grandma, how they, they say things. Aww. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, that was so normal to hear yeah. it that way before. Yeah. So I'm just like, when she says burling thin, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, correct. Or mall. El mall. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if we talked about this on one of the uh, episodes before. Huh. But it was very controversial in my house. Um, my husband, Curly, makes fun of me. Um, however, he uses this word now too, because I said it so much, but I say market uh -huh. all the time. Like I'm going to go to the market to buy food. Well, apparently a lot of people say grocery store. Yeah. See? Or like the store. Or yeah. Those. I say, I'm going to go to the market and I realized because I say market. Because say el mercado? Mercado. Yeah. So that's, yeah. 
there's see it's, it's in there somewhere <laughs> it's always there <laughs> But yeah, now I have my whole family, even the boys that are like, oh, are you going to go to the market? Like, it's just like a normal thing. Or same thing with like, um, I'm trying to think of the other word. Oh, like when I was younger, I used to call, um, I, people say lotion, like hand lotion. I always said cream. Crema? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that word. You cream? use cream. Crema. Ugh. Yeah. Cream. Moist cream. No! Exactly no! Happened. No! <laughs> that is not right, happening. Let's bring this back to this damn Patreon thing. I keep trying to talk about this. So anyways. <laughs> See how much I'm supposed to support. <laughs> Every month. You should support us because we're gonna... For, okay, but let's tell them what the Patreon is because I don't oh, even yeah. know. <laughs> well, I was gonna say that we're gonna end up doing a self-portrait of me on this wall like a huge mural oh. so that's why you should donate i thought you were gonna say we would do a self-portrait so, of morella as no. Mises. oh yes <laughs> let's do it <laughs> and we can be her little disciples oh my her. gosh that's a better oh idea. we can be little cherub angels <laughs> <laughs> this is happening no you know what the cherub angels will be the 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 stylists that have left the salon so oh. that'll be caitlin on the side <laughs> no we can <laughs> that'd be so cute actually <laughs> With their little there? dreads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Patreon. <laughs> Patreon is an avenue for you to <laughs> support the show. If you go to patreon.com and search Rebel Femme, you can even go to our website and we have a Patreon link there as well. But for as little as $2 a month, and we have higher, you know, uh, <laughs> tiers as well, and some of it includes little goodies and stuff like that. Ooh, but for that's fun. as little as two dollars a month, basically you love us, you love our show, you want to support us. That way, we can continue making these, and all of that money goes to like you know camera equipment, um, mic equipment, anything that we are need for the show specifically. Yes. So um, we would love your support, and we seriously love the fact that you guys are even listening to us and enjoy our podcast. It's what makes us keep making them and coming back. Um, and still recording on shitty equipment. <laughs> that is not shitty. Um, this isn't, but no, no, I was gonna we'll say. see how this audio um, turns out. But before we were recording on my on my phone, <laughs> puffy oh. puff with the little puffy puff mic, and Aww. a lot of people thought we had like nice mics, and they're like, "How are you recording?" And I'm like, "Dude, just use voice, you know, voice memo, memo, and call it a day." <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anything else that we need to cover? Mm, nope. I think that was it. That was it. That was a lot. That was. No, um. This is our exit here. Oh, just kidding. Never mind. Jacking up my podcast. Sorry, sorry, man. sorry. <laughs> I'm not here. Don't listen to me. <laughs> All right. Booster seat out. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would be so funny. Just like. Never mind. We'll do it after. <laughs> well, no. Now we have to tell everybody what the hell. Oh. So. Okay, right? We, we only have one. Or, I'm sorry, two stools. And we were like, oh my god, where's Danielle going to sit? So <laughs> we gave her a regular chair. Booster. Oh, it's sticking to my legs. We gave her a regular chair to sit on, plus... <laughs> Having a baby. I know, I was like... We're having her, her <laughs> booster chair. Oh my gosh. Sit on one of those booster things that you use for, like, little kids to shampoo them. <laughs> oh, she's so little now. Yeah. <laughs> so she's sitting on this booster chair. <laughs> and I'm tiny. All right. <laughs> Go back. So on that note, we're going to wrap up this um, podcast. So a few things, um, you know, definitely... Follow us on IG. We actually have two Instagram accounts. So if you just want to follow the podcast, you can go to rebelfem underscore podcast. Um, or you can also um, get some updates as well as educational stuff um, and just stuff about the salon in general at rebelfem underscore salon. Follow us on TikTok, rebelfem. I think it's just rebelfem. I think so. Yeah. And um, again, our Patreon, support our show. And um, you just support us actually by listening, but we would love... Uh, a little change here and there so keep the lights on um, again that link is in um, our website so definitely tap on that and then um, you can overall just learn more at rebelfemsalon.com there's tons of stuff on there go read the blog posts yeah they're fun that's another thing Danielle's our, our blog editor so she writes all of our blogs <laughs> we forgot to mention that earlier oh yeah <laughs> 
So, with all of that being said, if you got this far and you're still listening, this is open to the U.S. only. Clicked out yet? Because surprise, surprise, we do have listeners that are outside the country. Really? Like random. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Hi. <laughs> But this um, contest is available to US residents only. Um, so all you have to do, so listen up, you just have to subscribe, rate our show, um, and then comment about our show. Hopefully it's good things. And yes. then you <laughs> screenshot it. And all you have to do is tag us in your Instagram stories or you can make a Facebook post. And just as long as we're tagged and we can see it and we can find you. Um, and one lucky winner if you are in the SoCal area and are able to come into the salon you will actually be able to receive a free lash set yay from Danielle um, winner will be chosen <laughs> at random so again all you have to do is subscribe to the rebel femme podcast show mm -hmm. like or yeah you're liking it right rate rate sorry you're rating it what's the difference you just rate it, like you give it like one star or five stars. For sure five stars five. if you want yeah. to try to win. One star yeah. you get nothing. <laughs> yeah. You get nothing. <laughs> okay. So subscribe, rate, and comment, and then just screenshot and tag us in a post or in your stories. It doesn't even matter. Just make sure your friends see it and you recommend our show. Um, and then you could potentially win a free lash set with Danielle. If you're outside of the SoCal area and you just really can't get into Danielle, no worries. Yeah. We are going to give you, um, we're going to ship you a box of our favorite hair products that we carry here at Rubble Femme. And we will also give you this really cute Rubble Femme mug. And I think it's super cute because it's it has really our cute. new logo. It's pink inside. Duh. Yeah. A little pink handle. A little pink handle. It's super, super cute. So we'll ship you all of that. And um, good luck to all of you. Yay! Yay. <laughs> oh yes, um, we totally forgot. We needed to say this at the beginning of the show. Oh, oops, I thought that was at the end. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it on the next one, the next one. We'll give you like an extra one here. Yeah. Today's George. podcast. <laughs> so today's podcast was sponsored by Renegade Tacos. Eat Ooh. Renegade Tacos. So what's our Instagram handle? Renegade Tacos. It's just Renegade Tacos? Yeah. Okay, so Renegade Tacos, and what city it's in? Garden Grove. And what's the little like place that it's at? Steelcraft. So Garden Grove, Steelcraft, um, it's called Renegade Tacos, amazing. Um, we went there and um, my husband and my kids and tacos were, they're pretty good size, um, but you're not just gonna wanna eat one good size taco, you'll probably wanna eat like at least, I don't know, two kind of filled me up. Yeah, but they're I pretty ate, big. I ate three. They're fat boys. So, yeah. Oh, and I was wrong. The handle is Eat Renegade Taco. <gasps> Fired. I know. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Renegade Taco is going to hate you for uh, that. Uh, uh. <laughs> taco pictures. Hey, they're delicious. Eat Who doesn't want to like, have food porn on their feed? And they have vegan options too, right? Or vegetarian options. They do have vegan options because all of their cremas are made with veganes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I, I think I had like a potato one. The potato sorriso? Yeah. You need to try the Brussels sprouts one. Oh, oh I love Brussels sprouts. Amazing. I love Brussels sprouts. But, I mean, I eat chicken too. I think we had chicken and shrimp ones. Those were really good. Actually, all of them were good. We, I think we got one of each. Oh, did you? Yeah. Because <laughs> we're like, let's just get all of them. Because I have a big family, so. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for listening, guys, and we will see you next week. Bye.